Well, a homebrew Wednesday update in the new spare bedroom. Well, not new, but newly revamped, completely gutted. Uh, which is why I haven't been doing homebrew Wednesdays. Um, not much to update you with anyway, really. This has been taking up all my time. Um, so we've managed to compress some of the homebrew surplus into this little room. Um, and then we're going to cram it full of all the other stuff from the other rooms because I've then got to start decorating those and build the new man cave. Yeah, so I'll give you a quick whirl round the other bits and bobs I've got. It's not all entirely homebrew related, but um, most of the bits and pieces here I've got a box full of pump clips and the badges. These are all for the pumps I'm going to be restoring and selling and the ones I'm going to be using on the bar build. I've got some barkeeper's friend for cleaning the old stainless up. Uh, those of you on the BrewTube page obviously sort of acquired another keg for my future build. But we've got down here a little collection of um, bottles and such like for um, future reuse. We've requisitioned this little cabinet that was mine and has done the rounds as usual. We do have a few. We'll get to them in a minute. But um, if any of you guys need uh, some bentonite or precipitated chalk, I get these from work um, and they go out of date. So obviously you can't sell them, but uh, can't see why powdered items, as long as they're not got moisture in them, still going to be usable. But there's more there than I'm ever going to use. Um, not a pack of that, which has gone out of date. But, uh, restart wine yeast if anyone needs any. Managed to get this out of a brand new beer kit that got nibbled, which is a liquid hop extract, along with the yeasties. A couple of bottles of sorbitol for sweetening me wines up. But, uh, this is the more interesting drawer, it's a bit heavy, but um, we've got all our still spirits. collection of various future um, brews along with the uh, sashes you just add that straight into your cheap vodka that um, you acquire of course and uh, do like an odd drop of cider so when the bar's done, we've also got ourselves a little nice gold Thatcher's cider pump. And a few other bits for the old, um, you know, distilling water. And uh, some bits for water correction. Playing around with that in the future. We've got the salts and bits and pieces. Late bargain. Nice. Stainless steel bucket. 10 quid off eBay. And I'll codge this out of Wilkinson's large conical sieve, which I thought would be handy if you're doing fruit based wines or uh, if you get the problem with the old hops, you can uh, put a muslin bag in there and obviously pour your beer through with your fresh wort and use it as a secondary filter. I've got a small version for the old Demi Johns, which is just basically a, a jam, one repurposed, the usual bits and pieces. And we've got another another fridge, you know, as if I haven't already got any. You know, it's this one's got a little tank, tap and tanky already on it. And we've got the old camping fridge here, which is a bit grubby from sitting in awnings and things, but uh, serves a purpose. It's quite 
Well, surplus glasses and um, drinks containers. We've managed to acquire from Germany a full limited edition set of 10 Wolfsteiner glasses. Because mm. um, it does tend to bring you on from one thing to the other, this homebrewing luck, doesn't it? You start getting interested in other beer items, in glassware, and um, annoying little Jack Russells with floppy tails. You know. So, hello, like Brew Two Blend. And uh, we've got two big boxes. Um, with all the various brewing adjuncts, orange peel and oak chips and obviously these are for the future bar and we've got the grain store which has got a kit which I'm going to have to do even though I've not really got time to be liquid kit jobs I think this year mainly but we have got a couple of all grain kits although there is the hops which aren't in a vacuum pack so we'll probably have to redo with fresh hops and uh, we've got a big garden store underneath here which houses five sacks of grain at the minute so this is probably the last time we will see it for a while because I've now got to compress all this up and fill it up with all the clothes from wardrobes and carpets and God knows what else until the uh, next bit is done. But there's a few more acquisitions I've got which we'll cover in the brew shed. Well, life living in boxes. We're still in the middle of building the man cave as you can see here, um, it's just a mock-up for the bar and the uh, glasses air fridge yeah so a little bit more later on